Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading. I'm a bit late doing my reading today and so it's only going to be one reading for you and a short reading, Tess, big sigh in the background, short reading, five card reading using the Edgar Allan Poe Tarot and uh, there it is for those of you interested in uh, perhaps getting a set of these cards for yourself Edgar Allan Poe Tarot because we are talking about death and murder and mystery and intrigue and mausoleums and all kinds of very dark and sinister and unpleasant subjects and uh, I am going into territory that I have resisted going into on this channel but there is a rumor circulating it started on Sedan it's a very ugly rumor very ugly energy uh, today um, the energy is really really intense right now um, I don't know if you can feel it but I can certainly feel it uh, there's a lot of things that are coming to a head at the moment energetically and this story has been around for as long as Princess Diana has been dead and let's put that bluntly uh, the story is of course that the British royal family did away with her and I think in particular Prince Philip is the one that's always fingered for this crime, alleged crime. And I am going to say at the outset that this is all allegations, all rumour, and this is a tarot reading for entertainment purposes only. And I am not stating for one second that any of this is truth or fact. Uh, Muhammad al-Fayed, of course, was the one that really promoted this story. Uh, there have been two inquiries into the circumstances surrounding her death. Both of them reached the same conclusion that it was the, due to a drunk driver and the fact that Princess Diana was not wearing a seatbelt when they made that very hasty, very last minute decision to leave the hotel in Paris and go back to, to Dodi al Fayed's apartment in Paris. And uh, that is the background to this. Now, the unsavory rumor that is spreading and has started, I think, in Cedan, on Sedan is that Prince Harry allegedly, and in every sentence in this reading, just read in and allegedly, uh, allegedly has been interviewing Muhammad al Fayed. Muhammad al Fayed allegedly is uh, suffering from dementia. He is on his last legs. He apparently lives in Switzerland, is no longer compass mentis. But the story is, and it is just a story, the story is that Prince Harry has interviewed him, recorded the interview. And the interview is going to be released in conjunction with the book for maximum impact. So, as I say, nasty story, nasty rumor. Let's see. Let's see what the Crow Tarot want to tell us about it. Is it true? Uh, does Prince Harry really think that his mother was murdered by a very close family member in the royal family? Has he really been talking to Muhammad al Fayyad, recording it? And what's going on behind the scenes? And of course, the inevitable question is, has this always been in his mind or has Meghan Markle had anything to do with sowing the seeds of this in his mind? And what is the outcome going to be for Prince Harry, for the book, for the royal family, anything that the cards want to tell us? And uh, really unsavory topic, but it seems to be time to read on it. As I say, very, very, very strange energy around at the moment and lots of dirty dealings coming to light at the moment. So, and uh, I want to say brace yourselves for this reading. Um, five cards, we'll look at the underlying energy as well. I'll explain the cards as I go through them as I always do when I do these short readings. And, uh, Underlying energy is the King of Cups. King of Cups in reverse. Who's the water sign here? It's not Prince Charles. Is uh, Muhammad al Fayed a water sign? He could well be uh, from this card. Or anyway, it's uh, his energy coming through in this card. A very upset uh, leader, uh, the king. He's, of course, a king. He had a tremendous business empire, very influential, very powerful, very wealthy man, Muhammad al Fayed, in his day. Of course, he's fading now. Could be one of the reasons why the King of Cups is in reverse. He is 
um, losing his power, losing his influence, but he may have one last card up his sleeve, of course. But the King of Cups in reverse is emotions that are out of control, that cannot be mastered, cannot be contained, cannot be disciplined. They are possibly irrational, unreasonable, over the top, uh, very male energy, very chaotic energy, very upset energy. Um, I think he's been consumed and I cannot blame him. I can't point fingers and say, well, you know, you should have, have snapped out of it and got over it. Of course not. Um, he has suffered a tremendous personal loss. Um, but it is this energy of being out of control over the top emotion. That is the underlying energy in this reading. So the heart of the matter right now. What is going on? We get the Six of Pentacles. In reverse, it's an unbalanced energy. We've got another unbalanced energy here. Um, that could be him in the sense of his business empire and him apportioning things and handing out arms and being charitable and doing good things and being level-headed and rational in business. Six of Pentacles is all about balance, all about uh, giving arms to the poor, um, putting effort into a situation and making sure that things are distributed equally. But it is in the reverse. And so I get another indication of mental imbalance because pentacles very often can represent the mind-body connection and how you are dealing with situations um, from a rational point of view or an irrational point of view. And uh, again, that feeling of just things being disordered um, mentally disordered, out of balance, uh, feeling wronged, feeling robbed um, is the Six of Pentacles in reverse, feeling that you have put a lot of effort into something and got no reward for it. Somebody else has possibly taken from you more than they should have. And I think that that well describes the situation that we are dealing with, with both Mohammed of Fayed and Prince Harry. Prince Harry equally may feel robbed obviously of his mother, of a certain birthright that he had, a certain um, legacy that he had, a life that he should have had with her and it was taken away from him. Let us see now, does Prince Harry believe that his mother was murdered by the British royal family? Seven of Cups is about possibilities. The hot air balloon it's certainly something that he considers, he thinks about um, the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is about looking at those cups, they're all filled with different things, um, different, uh, some are good, some are bad, some are unknown, some are mysteries. I think he watches everything that is out there on the subject, I think he always has. And there are of course all kinds of documentaries, there's all kinds of stuff on YouTube, there's all kinds of chat all over the place. You can go down some really deep rabbit holes with this and I think that he has, definitely he has. Um, and as I say, it's a hot air balloon in there. Um, not necessarily much substance to some of these things, but definitely he is willing to, he's, a, he's willing to suspend his disbelief and engage in these conspiracy theories. I think that's a good card for conspiracy theories, the Seven of Cups, because it is up about possibilities. It is about things that are not necessarily true or real, that you imagine a fantasy card, speculative card, um, daydream kind of a card. Off you go on that journey in that hot air balloon with those cups and uh, you may go to some quite strange places, go down some very strange rabbit holes with the Seven of Cups. So I do think that he entertains the idea at least that somewhere in there, there is the answer to a mystery, to a riddle that he hasn't quite fathomed. So has he been talking to Muhammad Al-Fayed? Has he been interviewing him? Is there communication? It looks like it. It does look like it. Three of Wands is about collaboration. All threes are about collaboration. Uh, wands is of course uh, media, um, PR, uh, chat, emails, those kinds of things. Uh, so it could well have been videoed with this card. Uh, there's a whirlwind, there's a ghost ship. The ghost ship uh, possibly going down that whirlwind. It does look as if Prince Harry, well, he's been in his hot air balloon and now he is prepared to go down into that whirlpool 
whirlwind. Sorry, it's been a long day. Um, whirlpool. He's prepared to go on that ghost ship down into that whirlpool with Muhammad al -Fayed. It looks like it. See that youthful figure there in the foreground on that ship looking at the ghost ship in the past and there was all that danger in between him and the ship. Very interesting depiction of the Three of Wands. It's a very interesting deck. This Someone actually recommended it to me on this channel months ago and I thank them for that. Um, I was looking for shadow decks to read on. I didn't have enough in my possession. I have nice decks to read on nice things in my own personal life. <laughs> I needed some nasty decks to read on subjects like this. And this deck is coming up. Trump's collaboration, teamwork, expansion, ideas going out and coming back with some kind of return on them, reward on them, growing, expanding. Uh, Prince Harry being sucked into that dangerous vortex. Oh dear. Uh, really not what one wants to see. Uh, behind the scenes, the hidden energy in this reading. Who is behind this is Madame Markle. Does she have anything to do with it? Snoring again? Sorry for that, Tess. Um, has she got anything to do with this? Has she set them up? Has she um, fomented the idea? Prince Harry's mind, although he does seem to believe it himself. What has she got to do with it? We get the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It could well be her behind the scenes. Ace of Pentacles is, of course, it's a scarab beetle. Ace of Pentacles is about new starts, financially lucrative new starts, um, new purpose, new mission, a new uh, venture that you're going on that's going to be, as I say, rewarding. It's going to be a long, uh, profitable journey that you're on. It's in the reverse. And in the reverse, it could be that uh, the idea that that journey was stopped uh, before it really took hold, that Princess Diana, Diana's legacy was cut short for some reason with that Ace of Pentacles in reverse, her legacy that Prince Harry is trying to now uh, promote. Um, take on you know the mantle himself so that's a one interpretation of that ace of pentacles in reverse um, but it also it could signify some kind of secretive journey that is going on now uh, that is being pursued by Harry and Meghan uh, behind the scenes because this is the behind the scenes card what is going on behind the scenes and the card is in reverse and sometimes when I read reversals I read them as being hidden energy stuff that is literally going on behind the scenes and this could be some kind of path that they're exploring some kind of funding that they may be getting and i have actually been asked to do a reading on that whether uh, mohammed r fired is behind the harkles funding them um, at some level i haven't uh, just wanted to do that reading up until now i just have not wanted to go into that place but the places seem to uh, call to beckon today much like that vortex is beckoning that young figure on that ship um, and it looks as if there may be deep pockets there may be some kind of financial incentive behind this that um, the Harkles might be in uh, debted at some level to Muhammad al Fayed or Megan, maybe. Very interesting card. Interested to hear what you have to say. And uh, all allegedly, of course. Outcome what is going to happen with this rather gruesome tale? What is going to happen? We get the Knight of Wands. Um, destruction, mayhem, chaos. I've seen this card before come out with Prince Harry. Very impetuous energy, uh, hot headed, uh, um, and looks, uh, it, it just leaps in, causes destruction, and then disappears. Uh, it really could be that this is the, the flame that burns the place down. Uh, it's that fiery energy. We can see the fire there. Um, I think it's murder in the room morgue can't remember my Edgar Allan Poe is very um, dodgy at this point. Um, fantastic short stories but it's been a long time since I actually read any of them but uh, that's not a, not a very positive looking card. If you're the royal family and you've given the matches to somebody who doesn't really have much self-control, somebody who has got a grievance, got a grudge, 
somebody who can't control their animal nature, somebody chaotic and destructive who now is holding that firebrand, that match, and I uh, could drop it and burn the place down. It looks like he could literally burn the place down with this um, unless something is done to stop him. So that's quite a sinister energy to end this car this reading on. And uh, wow, um, all a bit all a bit terrifying and uh, we may have to look at it again and uh, see what possibly the royal family thinks about this and what they are going to do about it because it looks like it is quite a dangerous situation. Well then, thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you on the next reading.